Hello and welcome back to another episode of Shed Life. Now, last time you saw this, I didn't tell you a whole lot about it. So I'm gonna cover that really quickly. So it is a 2004 320D E46 Touring. Now, how much did I pay? 650 quid, bargain. And it's also mapped, which means a bit more horsepower. So instead of the usual 150, I'm hoping it's putting out about 180. It definitely feels pretty nippy for what it is. Now, last time you saw it on our drift series, I was saying I want to weld the diff. Now, I hadn't done that yet because me, Rob, Josh, we've all been busy. We've been tinkering away with our little drift series builds and time gets in the way with work and the main one, funds. Cost a bit to modify them. So keep watching out for future videos. We'll get around to it eventually, but don't worry, it's still there, it's coming. And what you will see on this is a bit of suspension as well. And I will take you around the car and you can see what I have been tinkering. It's only small bits, but I've done a bit. But enough about that. We're gonna continue on. I'm gonna give you a quick view around the car because the only mods I've done is the stickers. And let's face it, they're the coolest bit in a drift wagon. And then we're gonna go for a drive, give it a review, let you know my thoughts and give you a summary at the end. So stay tuned. So what have I done on the interior on this? Well, as you can see, it's a bit of a mess here. So there's an amplifier now in here and a lovely JVC head unit, which plays all my banging tunes. Now we're going to cut to the rear and in the rear, you can see it's got all my wood in. So perfect for your DIY projects when you're getting around to them. It has some soundproofing here and here and all under here. So when I get a subwoofer right there and the other speakers put in, it will sound banging for when I'm doing these long distance journeys. But that's why you haven't seen it for a while and I've been, that's why I've been tinkering with it. So till we get the mechanical stuff going, it is undergoing some audio for banging tunes. We're now on the drive portion of this video and there are three things I'd like to cover. That's the handling, the MPGs and what it's like to live with. It's going to be short and sweet, so listen in really carefully. Handling wise, touring is obviously a bit bigger than your saloon, your coupe counterparts. I feel it's set up a bit soft. Now this could be because the extra weight you need to carry in the bigger wagon or it could be my clapped out 18 year old suspension. But my plans are to change the suspension for OEM style units. I want to see what BMW intended this to be like. I'm not interested in coilovers at the moment. This could be an avenue to go to in the future. So stay tuned with that. But once I've changed, I will let you know what the difference is like. On back roads, I had my sister following me home in a 330 and she was saying this thing was going around corners. No problem. I had great fun chucking it around corners. So back roads, this thing's great. On the longer A roads and the motorways, it's a comfortable chair, it's your bus. You just waft along, get your MPGs, pure comfort, whack the stereo up, absolutely no problems. Now coming to long journeys, cause we obviously don't buy a diesel if we don't want the miles per gallon. So MPG wise, this is mapped, is pushing 30 more brake horsepower than standard. And I have no idea how much more torque but I thought I'd be a bit let down by the power going from a two and a half litre, three litre to a two litre diesel. Now the torque more than makes up for it. Feels about the same as a 325. So I'm really impressed. I have no complaints. The power is spot on. And MPGs now, 600 miles on the tank, 60 miles per gallon, no problem. Being mapped, you'd think you'd get a bit less, but you get a bit of a blend in the MPGs and the power. So absolutely perfect on that easily as i said you'll get 60 miles per gallon if you're driving like a granny probably get in the 50s if you're driving a bit harder now around town it's probably about the 40s but coming from a petrol it's absolutely mind-blowing the fact that going around town on short journeys instead of getting 20 i'm getting 40 and on long journeys instead of getting 40 i'm getting 60. massive difference to the wallet which pays for some tasty mods now living with this You've got all that space in the back. You've got your passenger seats. So chuck all your friends in, go to the beach, go away for camping holiday, 
you can do it all. You guys who own wagons, I think you're onto something and you know something you should be telling us petrol heads a lot sooner. So instead of getting all these 4x4s crossovers you're seeing these days, nah, don't bother. The wagon guys have it sorted. They've got the handling abilities of a car. They've got the space and probably bigger in some cases than these 4x4 crossovers. It's just a really practical car. So if you need one car, which is gonna cover a bit of fun driving around the back roads, do your dump runs, go to the shops, the wagon life is the perfect life. I honestly cannot say enough how much I'm loving driving a wagon. And if I had to have one car for the rest of my life, it'd probably be a wagon. However, those of you guys who are making E46 M3 wagons, you are onto something. I'd love to drive one of them if I ever had the chance. And that would probably be my perfect, if I could only have one car, garage right there. So that is the end of my review. We're back from our drive, and as you can tell, I like this old bus. Beautiful thing. Now, for our drift series, Josh is tinkering away with his E36. He's not quite the top-notch mechanic that me and Rob are, so you'll be wet in a while. Now, what's happening with Rob Z? Now, spicy modifications are coming. So you JDM guys, he's got you covered. But for you BMW guys, yeah! Yay, I have some E46 content coming. Even though Rob hates them, you're gonna see more E46 content. So BMW guys, me and Josh have you covered. So like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.